So it's only day two of the confirmation hearings for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, and it's going as you'd expect. The GOP is making it into a complete circus, and they are aggressively pushing this narrative that she wants to indoctrinate the nation into critical race theory. In fact, to be honest, I don't know what their argument is here, but they just want you to think of CRT when you think of KBJ. In fact, this is an actual tweet from the official GOP account. So this is a GIF. This is real. And they crossed out her initials and they replaced it with CRT. I don't know what the takeaway is supposed to be. If they actually believe that Judge Jackson is going to force her colleagues in the Supreme Court to view the Constitution or interpret it through the lens of critical race theory, maybe that's the argument. I don't think it's that sophisticated even. I, I don't know what this is about. It's it's just, oh my God, it's so stupid. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, now, to reinforce this narrative, Ted Cruz, uh, Cruz, of course, came in to assist them. So he proceeded to educate her about the fundamentals of a children's book that is supposedly rooted in the CRT legal theory. Take a look. There are portions of this book that, that, that I find really quite remarkable. One portion of the book says babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There is no neutrality. Another portion of the book, they recommend to babies confess when being racist. Let me remind you. That is a United States senator and supposedly a grown-up speaking at the confirmation hearing for a potential Supreme Court justice. We live in the dumbest country on the planet, and it's not even close. Now, just to show you how taken aback Judge Jackson was by what he asked, because basically the question that came after that thing that he did there, that political theater was do you think that this should be taught in schools because it is and she basically was speechless and i don't know how she respond to his stupidity i don't know how i would respond to his stupidity but i think that her reaction really captured the essence of the stupidity there embedded in that performance from ted cruz now this is a book that is taught at georgetown day school to students in pre-k through second grade so four through seven years old um do, do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? Senator. I do not believe that any child should be made to feel as though they are racist or though they are not valued or though they are less than that they are victims, that they are oppressors. I don't believe in any of that. But what I will say is that when you asked me whether or not this was taught in schools, critical race theory, my understanding is that critical race theory as an academic theory is taught in law schools. And to the extent that you were asking the question, I understood you to be addressing public schools. Georgetown Day School, just like the religious school that Justice Barrett was on the board of, is a private school. And his response to that predictably was, aha, you admit that it was taught at a school. And her answer was basically, I don't I don't know. I, I don't know if this book is taught in schools. Is this critical race theory? I mean, I'm against what you're saying critical race theory in this book represents. So I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I don't know what he expects from her, but the goal isn't to actually press her for answers here. It's just to do political theater and convince Americans that she is pushing critical race theory as a Supreme Court justice. It's truly idiotic. And, you know, if you were surprised that Ted Cruz would bring a children's book to this confirmation hearing. Well, uh, I think that's honestly because even though he went to law school and graduated, uh, I think it's because he can't read past a first grade level because that's not the first time that he read a children's book to America. Let's take a look back at what he was doing back in 2013. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. 
Now, I know that you're thinking that that's probably cringe, and you're right to an extent, but I'm actually just really proud of him that he was able to read that much from a book that complicated. So, yeah. Now, what makes this entire situation even dumber than it already is is the fact that Ted Cruz reportedly got into a confrontation with airport security because he was worried that they would make him late and he wouldn't be able to show up to these confirmation hearings to then ask completely dumb fucking questions as we just saw so reddit user dyslexia rules share this video and the new york post explains police were called to step in after a frustrated senator ted cruz reportedly got in an argument with airline staff at a montana airport over the weekend footage posted on reddit showed cruz who was wearing a mask speaking to two united Airlines staffers at bozeman airport on sunday after he missed the check-in window for his flight a law enforcement officer had to be called in to help defuse the situation scott humphrey a deputy director of bozeman yellowstone international airport told the daily mail the past passenger had missed the check-in window for his flight and rebooking options were limited out of Bozeman due to spring break. The Reddit user who posted the video claimed Cruz was accosting the two airline employees and, quote, wouldn't calm down. It wasn't immediately clear what Cruz said to the airline employees. The Reddit user claimed the senator said something along the lines of, don't you know who I am, and requested to speak to the manager several times. Now, as he went full Karen and literally requested to speak to the manager, when he said, don't you know who I am? Apparently, he followed that by saying uh, his name exactly like this. Me, I'm Ted Cruz, me. <laughs> I'm exasperated. Uh, I, I just, I don't know how to process this stupidity that we see on a daily basis from America. So he treated airline employees like shit. Because, God forbid, he missed the confirmation hearings so he could show up and ask these completely idiotic fucking questions about critical race theory. Jesus Christ. How do you watch this? How do you see Ted Cruz and not think, wow, I'm ashamed to be an American? It's just he is an American. So I don't. I, I that's not how we are. Like, you want to tell the world we're not all like this, but I feel like, you know, you, you, you just. It's so demoralizing and you think, oh my God, America is just, we're, we're doomed. This is a United States Senator, folks. And I don't know what it is about Ted Cruz, but he makes me want to bully him. And I, I've never had this instinct before. There are people who I dislike a lot, like Lindsey Graham, but I don't want to bully Lindsey Graham. I want to insult him, to be clear. But when it comes to Ted Cruz, I actually have the urge to just inexplicably push him into a locker and scream in his face and intimidate him. I don't know what it is about him. There's something about his face that just makes me want to bully him. Um, and, and this is something that I've never felt before. And I think that a lot of Americans probably feel these emotions when they see Ted Cruz speak because he's just that smarmy, that repulsive, that insufferable with every single thing that he does. And every single word that comes out of his mouth is rehearsed. He's so fake and phony. And everything that he does is political theater. He makes a show for the cameras. And yet yet he still gets elected in one of the most populous states in America. Doesn't that speak to the stupidity of our country? I, I mean, holy shit. So there you have it. I mean, this is about how we'd expect this confirmation process to go because Republicans can't take that um, there's going to be somebody new on the Supreme Court, even though that doesn't change the ideological balance. They still have a six to three supermajority, but still the fact that uh, there's somebody else who's a liberal that's going to be on the court is just beyond the pale for them. They can't handle it. So they have to make fools of themselves. They have to act like idiots and pretend as if she supports critical race theory to the extent that she wants to indoctrinate American children into it. Again, I don't know what their argument is, but holy shit, is this fucking making me lose brain cells? And I don't know that I can cover this on a daily basis because we're on day two and already it's almost unbearable. Me, me, me. Yeah, I'm Ted Cruz. Me, me, me. Afro male, not a beta male.